We ask all of our campuses to move outside the walls of our buildings into our communities and every campus identified certain giants. First of all, we had the giant of addiction, giant of hungry kids. We wanted to reach out to single moms, single dads, grandparents trying to raise kids, those that are sick and the elderly. We've learned some things. When we moved outside the community, our church is actually finding favor in our community. These giants resonated with our own people. The more we dove into these uncharted waters, the more we realized how desperate our communities are. We can't conquer these giants alone. We're also partnering with some other churches, and together we can make a bigger difference. If you can change a community, you can change a region. We as a church, we must still always have a heart for those that are far from God. We also want a heart for our local community. This is a church that God's using to change the world. Jesus gives this great commission, therefore, he says, go and make disciples of all nations, baptizing them in the name of the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. Teach these disciples to obey all the commands I've given you, and be sure of this, I will be with you always, even to the end of the age. We are to have a heart for each other, we're to have a heart for our community, we're to have a heart for the world, heart for the one. One church, one community, and one world. But how do we accomplish that? The church is the foundation. The local church is the hope of the world. The local church exists in every nation on this planet. It takes resources to be the church that God wants it to be. It says we're to give a tithe and an offering. It says, do honest people rob God? God says, but you rob me day after day. You ask, how have we robbed you, God? The tithe, God says, and the offering, that's how. Most Americans don't feel rich, and we are. Most Americans think we're generous, and we aren't. You just have a vehicle. You're somewhere in the top six to nine percent of the wealthiest people in the world. The average American actually gives only 2.8 percent of what they earn. We all want to give more, but the reason we don't is we feel like we can't. The scarcity mindset is actually a cycle. God supplies, we consume, we lack. We fear if you'll do what his word teaches, a cycle of abundance. And here's what it looks like. God supplies, we give a portion back unto him. God multiplies, our faith grows. You must each decide in your heart how much to give. Don't give reluctantly or in response to pressure. God loves a cheerful giver. We give back to God and we do it as an act of worship and honor and blessing. The tithe teaches us to put God first. It says the purpose of tithing is to teach you to always put God first. It builds our faith. But God says, hey, test me on this. It provides for the work of God's church.